Hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your source for the finest two-way propaganda brought to you by TNVC.com. Today I want to tell you about another gun control hypocrite who got caught red-handed, but first I want to make a quick announcement about the letters some of you folks have been getting from the ATF. The AFT. By now, y'all have heard about the mass rejection of Form 1s. Looks like the AFT is trying to angle for the position that anything you even think about making into a silencer automatically becomes a silencer, and they're asking people who want to legally build a silencer on a Form 1 to tell them what parts they're planning to use. That's a funny way to spell entrapment. Now, I'm not a lawyer because I don't think I'd even like the taste of puppy, and this is not legal advice. As your attorney, I advise you to rent a very fast car with no top. If you got one of those letters, it's probably best to tell them you do not have any silencer parts as that would be illegal. I would tell them I wish to obtain the tax stamp before procuring any parts or tools. Or if someone were to tell AFT they intend to use soup cans from Michael Bloomberg's pantry to build a silencer, would that mean those soup cans suddenly become unregistered Title II devices? Checkmate gun control. Game. Hey friend, it's dark half the time on this planet, so unless you got shiny eyes like Riddick, you're gonna have a hard time operating operationally unless you get night vision from TNVC.com. It's kind of funny, kind of sad, how often this comes up, but here's another reminder. The folks who want to disarm you have no intention of giving up their own guns, not even for airport security. Jim Cooper is a control freak politicritter from California Stan who received an F grade from gun owners of California for supporting a ban on spooky boys. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office say they had to take possession of Cooper's firearm after he attempted to pass through a TSA checkpoint with it. But because he is a member of the ruling class and all, and a former member of the Praetorian Guard, he was not charged with any crime, and the sheriffs returned his pistol after his trip. Well, isn't that special? Jim Cooper was unwilling to give any statement, except to make it clear it's okay for him to break the law because he is retired law enforcement, and that makes him better than all of you people. It also means he thinks he is perfectly qualified to continue lording over you common folk as the sheriff of Sacramento County. Last month, Cooper announced his intent to run against Jim Barnes for sheriff. If you would like to donate to Jim Barnes, just go to jimbarnesforsheriff.com and click the green contribute button on the top right. <laughs> In all seriousness, I have no idea if Barnes is actually a good choice, so maybe you should go ahead and do some research before go donating to him. or. Maybe go full send, or maybe just look to see what the top comment down below says. What do you guys think? Well, you gotta have an opinion. Indiana has passed a permitless carry bill, and by the time you see this, Governor Holcomb may have already signed it. Holcomb is pretty weak on gun rights and actively worked to sabotage permitless carry in Indiana, but <laughs> if he doesn't sign it, we only need a simple majority to override, and it already passed 68 to 30 in the House and 30 to 20 in the Senate, so ultimately, vetoing it would just be embarrassing for him. His best choices are to quietly let it pass or to sign it and claim he was all for it all along, as is customary for scumbag politicians. If you would like to encourage, cajole, or praise him as the case may warrant, you can reach Governor Holcomb's office at 317-232-4567. Tell him he's only going to hold on to his office if he grows a spine and starts fighting for gun rights. And while we're at it, here are all the nay votes. You can reach them at 317-232-9400 if you'd like to call and tell them why you'll be campaigning for their opposition in the next primary. Coming in at state number 23 on our permitless carry countdown, the Buckeye State probably looks like it may eventually, maybe, squeak through. Uh, like watching a struggling but determined long distance runner finally cross the finish line, Ohio's SB 215 has finally passed both houses and awaits Governor DeWine's signature. 
Now, DeWine is a Republican, but also weak on guns, and SB 215 does not have a veto-proof majority, so let's all take the time to give him a call at 614-466-3555 and make sure he understands how important this is. Hey kids, do you like pews and pew-related things? Do you want to help us keep delivering you pure, uncut American pew propaganda at the low, low price of free 99 We literally couldn't make this show if it weren't for the generous support of TNVC.com, purveyors of the finest non-GMO night vision devices handcrafted from fine Corinthian leather in the old world style. They also have mounts, lights, training, swag, and all sorts of other gear to make you the bump in the night. And remember, if you aren't subscribed to our channel, you make puppies cry and Captain America is disappointed. I love you.